Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to make a simple chatbot. Let's see the demo first. This is the app I have created. Uh, this is chatbot app. Connect. Hello. Hi. What is your name? My name is Jarvis. Light on please. Light turn on. Light off. Sorry please repeat. Light off. Light turn off. Uh, you can also text with. What is time now? 13 hours 18 minutes. Now let me explain how this chatbot works. Here Raspberry Pi works as a server and our app acts as a client. Python server on Raspberry Pi handle all requests from the client. Make sure Raspberry Pi and Android phones will be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This is my Raspberry Pi 3 setup, Python TCP server. Chatbot code is written in a python. You can run this code on any machine. Only requirement is you have to install python 2 on it. I am using here raspberry pi 3. This is our chatbot tcp server code. Let me open in python 2. Go to the python 2 idle. File. Open. I have saved it on desktop. Open. This is our chatbot code. This is really simple code uh, which creates a TCP server. Now I am going to explain this piece of code. You can modify it according to your needs. Here we declaring all required models and then here I have declared pin number 11 as output pin. You can use any another pin also. Uh, we are hosting our server at the port number 8220. Then initializing the TCP server right here. And then I am just explaining the important parts of this code and the spot down here. Our server accepting all the connected clients. And this code accepting the data from the uh, clients when it gets data it gets data then it sent to this chatbot edit function you can see this function it here this is really important part of our code here is our main conditions it will check if the given data by the client is available in our database first this is our small database it will check first uh, this data is available if this available it will find uh, its reply if we send Jarvis it will send hello sir as a reply and we are applied here the if else condition if this condition is not satisfied then it will check another condition uh, for example, if we ask the question like this, uh, how, how are you? It will send a reply from this response, so on, and it will check this all these conditions one by one. Here, our uh, turning on light condition. If we send light on from the client app, it will. Uh, send reply as a light turn on and it will turn on the GPIO number pin 11 it will turn on GPIO number pin 11 on and print this light on statement now if we send light off and or LED off it will satisfy this condition and send that light is turn off and turn off the GPIO number 11 um, similarly, if we ask for a time, what is time now, it will satisfy this condition and get the time from the uh, system and 
send it back to our client uh, similarly if you ask for a date it will get from get date from our raspberry pi and send it back to our client if it doesn't contain any condition uh, then it goes here and sends that sorry please repeat and it will create a new text file it will add our responses to here I will show this file here uh, this is our text file it will add the data to here this doesn't contain our database will get this code in uh, below description now I am going to explain the app part as I mentioned earlier I have made the app in MIT App Inventor 2 MIT App Inventor is the platform where we can create app without any coding knowledge it's really simple to make an app uh, this is my app okay. uh, this is my app this is user interface of our app uh, where we get the IP address and the port number and uh, connect to our server and here these boxes to send and receive the data and the voice controller when we press it it will open the Google voice recognizer uh, this app basically when we press this button it basically convert our speech to text and send it to our server here is the base logic behind our app when we press send button it will pop up the pop up the speech recognizer and get the text uh, after getting the text from the speech recognizer it will send to our server um, all the required files are given below in description uh, download it and ext uh, you can simply import my project from your computer to start the chatbot run this piece of code run it will start our chatbot to get the IP address of our pi you will get the IP address of your Raspberry Pi now open our app and enter the IP address and port number and then press connect and start Hola. It working now hello hi what is your name my name is Jarvis Yes, our chatbot is working now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.